At this point, you should be pretty comfortable using different frameworks. I'm going, the material design one will be using material design light. This is from Google. And you should walk through the getting started. I typically prefer the hosted setting. So we're going to go here and grab this. And I'm going to go out to brackets. And I'm going to I'll cancel that for now. We're going to go into a new folder, material design. I did not want it in there. I just wanted it in here. Uh, file, new, file, save as. Let's put it in a new folder. Material. And we're going to call it index.html. OK. So we're going to put in that, put in our head section. And you should be including the Facebook open graph settings. So I'm going to sort of blow through this because you've done it before, but a lot of people missed it on the last project. So you can pretty much go in here, read up the different tags here. And then you'll change it for your own. But these are the ones that you need to set. So you'll want to put in your meta tags. You want to make sure that this is all unique to your page. But these are the tags that you need. And it can give you a set. So the title. So the title here will be, uh, I think this page will be about um, training. Bouvier's image. I'm going to have to bring in an image here. So I'll have to add an image to my folder. It'll probably be Ollie. I'll have to add the image. Site name. Training Bouvier's. Description. This is a news letter about training Bouvier. This Flanders. Okay, and then I can save that. And then when you're working with material design, you don't really need to go through a particular tutorial here because everything's in here. So we can go through our templates have got. I don't like using the templates, but you're welcome to use one if you want as a way to get started. I just typically go look at the components. So I'm going to be doing, um, we have buttons, we have badget lists, loading menus. And let's look at all the menus. Let's see what else I've got for navigation. Let's see layout, transparent header, fixed or no header, fixed header. I actually kind of like the fixed header, so I'm going to grab the fixed header here. I'm going to do this as one long page instead of multiple pages. This is 
sort of a thing that's in right now. So I'll grab that. Oops. Okay, so you want to make sure that you're putting in the correct information. Title. So here these are all going to be on page link to Bouvier's. Ollie Nessie. You will have to put in real content for the tutorial. I'm not going to show you real content. And again, this is going to be one long page, not multiple pages, so you're doing on-page links. You start putting in your page content. So we're going to do some H1. Bouvier's. Then you will want to put in some content and we will make this more meaningful later, but that's my heading. And then I would have, um, I'll want to add in where I'm using the grid framework, but for right now I'm just going to be putting in paragraph lorem times five. H1 Ollie Okay, so this gives me enough to sort of start playing with things and see how they work. This is okay. It's boring. I'm going to start want to start using some of my 
but my links work and that stays on top. So that's all okay. Not great, but okay. It's a, it's a start using the framework. Let's look at the material design colors. And I like purple and green. And so that's a palette here, or better yet, I can go to material design light colors. So you'd get pick a theme. So I'm going to do blue, gray, and purple. Don't like it. I'm going to try blue, gray, and dark purple. Eh. Orange, amber, and purple. Eh. Purple and amber. Okay. So then I can drop this code. into my web page. And then I can go and let's try looking at this again. All right. Now I don't like the setup of this, so we gotta go look at the material and we go and we look at components. So I like cards. I use cards all the time. Um, let's go ahead and add a card. So here in Bouvier's, let's add a card at the top. Okay, let's just take a quick look at this. Put that up at the top of the page. And let's take another look at it. So I would really need to and get started as nothing. I'd really need to add like a background color to that and and we got to look at their colors, material design light. colors. And let's see where we can change our
Nope, don't want to do that. Let's look at our layout. Layout. Let's look at the grid. Okay, so we're doing a 12 grid. And so let's play with this a little. We can drop this into here. So now I can use different cells here so I can, let's actually pull out that card. And let's try putting this into the grid work. So your MDL grid acts as a row. And we can just dump this into each one here to show you how to use that. Main should end here. Okay, let's take another look at it. All right, so I don't want the Bouvier de Flanders inside the grid. I want it, unless I do a That's better. So you can sort of keep playing with these. I can put in columns. And I usually will add my own CSS as well. So I'm going to do a file new and I'm going to do a file save as in material. And you, I want you to use SAS. So I'm going to do uh, styles.scss. And I'm going to put in a um, and I would also set the background color to purple and do some other stuff. But for here, I'm just going to do that. I'm not going to get into the colors. You guys know how to use SAS. I 
and I don't need those because I pulled the card out. But I do need to add my style sheet. And then I need to add the container. And I could add it to the whole thing, or I could add it to main, which is what I'm going to do. Okay. Then I need to go into my styles.css, margin 15 pixels, auto, because I want it to center. And there, I start to have a page come into the other. I might also want to do some things like play with the margins there. I want them set in a little bit. And so I keep playing with it this way. And I can add my own styles to what's out there. But they have a good grid work. They have good on page. You probably want to add some of the buttons. Let's go look at their buttons. Buttons. I actually want a button with the material design icon. Though here we can we can just do this. We're going to add a button at the end of each here. put in top and we're going to do let's make sure that works because we're going to have to put in a link up at the top here So we can just link to Bouvier's for the top. Hmm, doesn't like that. Let's try it the other way. says it shouldn't do that, but it works. It works. It doesn't like it, but it works. I'll have to look into that. So instead of it doing it that way, let's just add the 
class. And see if that works. Ah, that's what it wants. So you'd want to put in some real comment, do some cards, do some various things, but I'm looking for a long one-page layout. It's interesting that it gets the scroll bar there. I kind of like it. I'm going to leave it. And so that's just getting started with Material Design Light. Make sure that you include plenty of the different options by looking at the different components and seeing what you want to include. Toggles, tables, Cards, I like, I particularly like cards with photos, lists. These are all different sorts of things that you can do in material design and sort of play with it and see what you want to put in.